everyone, my name is Heather and I'm one of the animal care specialists here at Brookfield Zoo Chicago and I take care of the marine mammals, so the dolphins, the seals, and the sea lions. And today we're going to be meeting one of our gray seals. This is Georgette, or as we call her, Georgie. She's spending some time with Elizabeth, one of my fellow animal care specialists, and you can see them hanging out together and participating in a variety of voluntary behaviors. Now, if you're really observant or if you have been here to Brookfield Zoo Chicago before, you might know that Georgie is actually pretty much functionally blind. So that kind of goes into her story of why she's here with us all the way in Illinois. Um, she started her journey off the coast of Georgetown, Maine, where she was actually stranded um, and found as a pup that needed some extra help. And her rescuers discovered that she is vision impaired. Um, this is likely something that she has had since birth. So you might see um, that Beth is using a lot of touch cues with her, like touching different parts of her body or having her touch the target pole. So sometimes we tap that target pole to let Georgie know where we would like her to go. So she's super smart. Her vision impairment doesn't get in her way. In fact, most guests can't even tell because she's still able to navigate her environment with her sense of hearing, smell, and those really sensitive whiskers called vibrissae at the front of her face. So she was rescued and deemed non-releasable by the government because of that vision impairment. She lived at Detroit Zoo with another one of our famed gray seals, Keenak. They both are from Detroit Zoo. Um, and she came to Brookfield Zoo Chicago in the hopes that her and Keenak would potentially like each other as boyfriend and girlfriend and contribute to the gray seal population in zoos and aquariums. And we are very excited to say that Georgie just became a mom in February. Her pup doesn't have a name quite yet, but we are hoping to hear soon. And she was an excellent mother despite her visual impairment. Georgie eats about 15 pounds of restaurant quality seafood every single day. Um, right now she gets herring, capelin, and squid. So you can see that Beth presents that red buoy for Georgie and Georgie knows to touch it with her nose or her muzzle and she waits for Beth to say the magic word, good. which is good, to let her know that she's completed the behavior and she's done a great job. So like I said, Georgie was a rescued animal. She's gonna have this vision impairment for the rest of her life, but it doesn't slow her down. She still socializes with the other animals and interacts with her care staff and enrichment. Georgie is estimated to be about 11 years old. She did strand, so we're not sure the exact date of her birthday, but we celebrate it on January 1st of each year. And she does get a birthday cake made out of ice, fish, and flavorless gelatin. And we just weighed her this week. She voluntarily steps on the scale, so I know that she is just over 300 pounds. You might notice that Georgie is a really beautiful blonde color right now, even though she's called a gray seal, not a blonde seal. But this is because she is going through her molt. So this is when seals gradually lose their fur and it gets replaced with a new coat. So you may see her now and she might be blonde, but if you come back in a couple of weeks, she'll be a silver and dark gray color. Gray seals do have a spotted coat as well, which is a great way to tell them apart from the other animals that live here, which are California sea lions. They are a solid brown color, whereas Georgie and the other gray seals have a spotted coat. You can see just how flexible that neck is. This is a really fun behavior called a bowling pin that Beth is doing with Georgie. Um, this is great for core work and making sure that she is strong, um, but it's also something that gray seals tend to do naturally is that bowling pin position to get a look around. So a lot of the behaviors that we teach them to do are natural, we just add a cue and reinforce them or reward them for a, doing such a great job. So you can notice how Beth is using tactile and touch cues um, and auditory cues or verbal cues for Georgie instead of things that she would need to see, like a visual hand signal. So we do everything through touch and sound instead and just adapt to Georgie's learning style. So Georgie participates voluntarily in checkups including a dental exam. So Elizabeth has asked her to open her mouth and you can see her gorgeous pearly white teeth. We make sure that her teeth, gums, and tongue are looking healthy every single day. We also can do an eye exam as well, just like when you go to the doctor and get your eyes checked. Georgie is 
functionally blind, but we still need to make sure that her eyes are healthy. These are just artificial tears. She's not prescribed any eye drops right now, but we do practice this behavior many times a week so that if the vets ever did need to put Georgie on eye medications, she's already comfortable with the behavior and it's no big deal. So that's what we're about here at Seven Seas is working with the animals voluntarily where they're at and then they help us take the best possible care of them. So we want to make healthcare like a fun game that we play together. That way, when it's the real deal, it's just a nice calm situation and the seals know what to expect. So you can see that right now she's just hanging out on her side. Beth is holding her flipper for reassurance, but she's really relaxed in this position. She actually did an ultrasound exam a few hours before she gave birth. So that just is a testament to her relationship with her care staff and also her comfortability with her medical exams. So she might just be taking a nap, but I can simulate the ultrasound just with my hand, and then that can help when the vets come over to check on the health of a pregnancy or even just to make sure that her internal organs are healthy. Thanks everyone for meeting Georgette today, learning more about her story and how she came here to Brookfield Zoo Chicago. We hope that you can come out to the zoo and see Georgette and the other gray seals, including her cute little pup sometime soon. Thank you.